Good morning. It is Friday and I figured that I would do a weekend in my life vlog and I guess I'll start it up um, today. But yeah, it's just a little bit after 7 and I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee to start off the morning. Um, I slept fairly okay but I'm still feeling kind of like tired so yeah anyway I'm going to drink some water take my vitamins and get this party started first cup of coffee in the morning first cup first sip of coffee in the morning Um, it's snowing right now, but I'm heading to, I'm heading to the gym over my lunch break. It is snowing right now, and every bone in my body just wants to stay home <laughs> and nap over my lunch break. But I was supposed to go to the gym yesterday after work, I didn't go, and this is kind of like my last shot <laughs> to go to the gym. 
before the week runs out and like i don't really want to go tomorrow because i'm getting my lash my lashes refilled my lash extensions refilled tonight and you're not supposed to get them wet for 24 hours so that means um if i went to the gym tomorrow morning i can't take like a proper shower and i don't want to do that i want to take a proper shower so i am just gonna just do it a quick 30 40 minute workout and then head back home but Man, I am sticking to habits can be such a difficult thing and it's okay to struggle and I just keep reminding myself that it's okay to not want to go to the gym, to not be motivated to go to the gym, but I just cannot rely on motivation. I need to find the reason that I'm doing this within me, which is just wanting to be healthy, wanting to um, be active and move my body as much as possible and for me an easy quote-unquote way to do that is by going to the gym and yes yeah, so sometimes I might not want to um, work out or I might be feeling lazy to get dressed or get changed um, and head to the gym but just kind of bypassing that and just going back to why I'm doing what I'm doing is sometimes a very effective way of just just, you know, getting it over with, <laughs> but yeah. Saturday. Um, it is 8:52 a.m. right now, and it's closer. And um, it's 8:52 a.m. right now, and I just have had a slightly productive morning. I stripped the my um, sofa covers, the couch covers, because I wanted to wash them. Um, since I since I've gotten the silver in October, I have washed it only once. So I want to make a point of like washing it every month, you know, just because it's white, it, it gets dirty easily. And I feel like if you're able to remove your silver covers and wash it, you should take advantage of that and wash, wash the covers as often as possible. So um, that's in the wash right now. So if you can hear any noise in the background, I apologize, it's from that. But yeah, right now though, 
But right now though, I'm going to get started on some podcast related stuff. If you aren't aware, I do have a podcast. It's called Where You're Planted. Um, if you haven't heard me talk on there, I said just go give me a follow or go give me a listen. I'm so terrible at self-promotion. I should really work hard on that because I feel like it's a good thing to hype up one's creative efforts and be excited about it. Because like really truly it's something that I'm excited about but I just, I think it's cringe to talk about things like that. But go support the podcast is essentially what I'm trying to say but I do have some where you're planted podcast stuff that I should have done yesterday but I didn't so I'm gonna do them today and I have a nail appointment at 10 a.m. because I need to get this like look at this it's so grown out I think it's like three weeks and I usually I think the longest I'll ever really go I think I've gone about three weeks and that was intentional but um, the longest I'll ever really go is two and a half weeks. So this is really grown out and I'm actually getting really annoyed by my nails. So I'm super excited to get my nails done. It's cold and snowy out. It's like, it says it's, min it's minus 17, but I'm pretty sure it feels colder than that outside. Um, we're back in the deep freeze. We had like several good weeks. So we all knew like it was it's been unseasonably warm for january so i think somewhere in the back of our minds we all knew that the cold is going to come back and it's back but yeah so it's nice and chilly outside so i'm not really beyond my nail appointment I'm, i have no plans really of going anywhere <laughs> uh but yeah i was gonna say something but i forgot what that was supposed to be I guess it wasn't important but yeah that is what i have to share for now i'm gonna get started on this podcast stuff just so i can knock it out hopefully before i leave and post it on my instagram on my podcast instagram that is but yeah oh oh what i also wanted to talk about is the fact that i got my lashes done yesterday they look so good like there's just nothing like a fresh set of lashes or like a fresh set of nails i'm really really loving it right now i'm talking too much i'm gonna go do some work real quick and see y'all later hi okay so it is several hours is it is it would i say several hours it's been it's <laughs> i don't even know what i'm trying to say it's a few hours later here are my nails i just decided to do like just like a plain basic color anyway um but yeah so i like them i like the shape i think it looks great but the reason i actually picked up the camera right now was it's just because i wanted to share that what i like to do when i have a bundle of nervous energy or like anxious energy in me and i've been having this off and on on and off for a few days now but today it's i'm feeling it a bit strongly um and I have some things that help me regulate or re-regulate or deregulate when I'm feeling the way that I'm feeling. And one of those things is journaling, like having like a brutally honest journal session where I just kind of write down what I'm feeling, why I feel like I think I'm feeling the way that I'm feeling and try to get to the root of it. Because sometimes getting to the root of anxiety um, and worry can help you counter like that those thoughts because oftentimes the reason that you're worrying or you have anxious thoughts well for me anyway i can't i can't and i should not speak about other people's experiences but oftentimes for me the reason that i'm having anxious thoughts and worrisome thoughts is just because i'm afraid that something's gonna happen i'm afraid of something bad happening and you know my anxiety or my worry is a means it's a really dysregulated way dysregulated way of my mind trying to address that worry so what i like to do is just kind of think about it get to the root of it if i can and just think about not like the opposite thought but really try to address that rationally and i know that sounds might not sound make a lot of sense but for instance if you know my 
like just try to determine whether or not that anxiety or worry is based in reality i think that's a better way of saying it than based based in like try to rationalize it don't rationalize it just try to figure out if it's based in reality um and you know what more often than not the worry or fear is not i there's no immediate fear or danger to me and so i feel like that's a good way to sort of just calm myself down and deregulate myself um there are other like somatic exercises that you can also do you can also do that i also do which is like taking and like breathing and actually really breathing and focusing on my breath and taking in deep breaths um but right but i do really like to go back to journaling because it allows me to think things out like to write things out to get to the source of why i'm feeling the way i'm feeling and then just kind of address it and tack it and look at it like with a lens of like reality like is this something that i should be worrying about and if not how can i like what thoughts can i put bring forward to counter those anxious worries and thoughts right and today i'm just feeling like i really need to do that and i'm not saying this is like a sorry if you can hear that's my washing machine going it's really loud um this is like journaling for anxiety or whatever it's not like a one-shot thing that it's like you're gonna journal you're gonna feel instantly better i don't think that's the case you're probably gonna need to journal several times you're gonna need to practice a lot of um like do a lot of physical exercises to just bring your body um get your parasympathetic nervous system activated um and just kind of bring you down because i don't know if you can even tell that i'm actually feeling a bit of anxiety and nerves right now just with the speed of my speech <laughs> um but that's okay and one thing i'm also really learning is to just kind of lean into as crazy as that sounds lean into the the feelings and the sensations i get in my body whenever i'm experiencing anxiety i try to lean into that feeling and i think the reason why panic attacks and anxieties or whatever worsen like the symptoms of them in our bodies the reason why they worsen is because we try to run away from them because and reasonably so because they're such unpleasant feelings right but i'm learning to not run away to, to just kind of observe them see them for what they are and just wait for them to pass and that's been also really kind of helpful too if i find that um i don't want to do the exercises or like it's in the it's the middle of the night i can't journal you know it's to just kind of sit with that feeling in my in my chest my heart going to dum to dum to dum <laughs> um so that's also something that i've been learning um practicing lately just leaning into uh the feeling that i am whatever it is that i'm feeling and just kind of making space for it sitting with it if i need to and just watching it go when it's ready um and and the reason and i know this is probably not going to work for everyone but the reason you know i have i don't think i'm generally an anxious person i've never been diagnosed for anxiety but i do get anxiety sometimes and i think the reason i'm able to sit with it no matter how uncomfortable it is just because it's kind of low grade um i can't say that this advice would work for anybody else that suffers from like really high grade debilitating anxiety so again as with anything on the internet pick and choose don't just don't just follow advice that's given to you right um but i was also thinking about something when my machine was my washing machine was going crazy which is just um what was it that i was thinking about um yeah so like for this particular instance the reason i've been so anxious the last few days i actually know why i'm not going to share it because i like to keep my private life private but that doesn't mean i can't kind of share when i'm struggling here and there um i know why i've been anxious the last few days and um i've been reminding myself that my anxiety is a result of an experience that i'm currently facing in my reality right but this experience is unfortunately similar to experiences that i've had in the past but um to kind of combat the feeling of anxiety that i have and worry is to just remind myself that yeah things like this things similar to this have happened to me in the past and i've been able to survive and get through and get over them and i'm still okay and i'm still here so it's just reminding myself that no matter what i'll be okay and i'll pull through and i think that also really goes a long way in kind of getting me to settle down in the present moment you know five minutes later i might be anxious about the same thing again but that's fine it's just allowing myself grace and patience 
for this entire thing and just kind of recognizing that my body's trying to protect me, my mind's trying to protect me, it's doing the best that it can. But sometimes the solution that it thinks is the best for a problem is not really truly the best and that's where you know I can sort of come in and kind of balance that out but yeah so I'm gonna journal a little bit I have a book that I'm currently reading also this is 101 essays that will change the way you think by Brianna Wiest um I'm so late to this game but I've been enjoying it so far and there's a chapter or one of the essays is kind of talking about um, emotional emotional social intelligence um, 16 signs of social intelligent person socially intelligent person and I kind of wanted to kind of take points based on that but yeah right now I'm just going to just give myself time and be kind of present with myself and in my body and yeah if I have anything to share later on I will pop back on here But I'm gonna water my plants first though, because it's been a week since I've watered them. <laughs> beautiful plants. Drink, drink water. So you can go go. So you can grow strong and beautiful. I don't know about beautiful, but you know. Strong and happy. Plant is just literally Thriving, like look at her. Look at her. She's going all the way. She's gonna go. I'm gonna let her go all the way up the wall. 